spread him out and attack the defense that way. Tucker back beside Schrader, fakes the pitch to him, going nowhere on the QB keeper. Gang tackling by Louisville, led by Yasir Abdullah. Schrader lost his lid again for the second time in the first quarter. Parts have been stout defensively. No points allowed in the last 10 drives. They'll set up the screen. Ward has it. And sit down back at the 20. Loss of two on the play. Yasir a team captain, guy leads by example. He's the team's best pass rusher and kind of senses that things aren't right. These, this has been building for a couple of years now for Jordan Travis. Officially a loss of three, clean pocket, the pump fake all night. Backside pressure, Travis collapses, ball's picked off. Just as we were singing his praises, Yasir Abdullah comes out of there with it. On the field, that the runner was just not down. down. Losing possession. Take the sack in this game. instance. Nobody there. You're running out of time or throw it away. And you just hate to see this happen to any player. And if you watch that play, he may have been down before the ball came out. That could potentially negate the interception. We'll ask our rules expert in the booth with us tonight, Matt Austin, on what he sees in Matt. Philly, the running back, backside pressure, Rodemaker slates and it's picked off, intercepted by the cards. Stopped short of the 45, Yasir Abdullah. And maybe one of two ways, deep shot down the field or a quarterback run, but Abdullah just dropping into coverage, reading the quarterback's eyes, and Rodemaker just stays in one place with it, under, tremendously underthrown, and it made it easy for Abdullah. Yasir Abdullah had the interception originally on the play that Jordan Travis was injured on. It was overturned on replay. Got one now. Jordan Travis injured in the first half, will not return. Tate Rodemaker, three of six passing. Sacked at the 21. They're bringing the heat in the Ville. And not miss a beat. He'll get it right side. Quickly corral. Field goal would keep it at a touchdown game, a one possession affair. With Travis Marsh at quarterback. And Marsh this time. Take it down back at the 42 yard line. Abdullah. They're out of Miramar, Florida, 22, just beating his man easily. Dustin Hall, when you put a defensive end that has moves like this and can get, get around you, outside linebacker, that's a mismatch. A 13-yard loss. Armstrong wants to move quickly. Pressure coming. They get him. Sack number six on the day. Yasir Abdullah. And Yasir Abdullah, slower start in terms of statistic-wise this year, but last year, he had 16 and a half TFLs and 10 sacks. That's Mumfield in motion. Play fake again by Slovis. Rolls to the right, going to take the shot down the field, and it's intercepted. Cardinals come up with it, and Yasir Abdullah. It's a boot play. And the fullback coming out in the flat, that's Daniel Carter, is wide open. The ball needs to go there right now. He's going to run for a first down. For whatever reason, he just passes it up. And because Keaton Slovis gets aggressive with the football, Louisville comes up with a big stop. A banana to the carry. Louisville right there. No gain on the play for Izzy Abana and Adula again. A Banacanda at the tail of the eye. And he gets the call, and boy, Yasir Abdullah. Johnson in motion. A Banacanda bangs into the line and got turned back. And again, Yasir Abdullah. Is they're trying to, you know, wind this back again? He just kind of fights off a blocker. Great space and we've also seen Branson Taylor there tonight as well in the line. And Slovis got hit. That ball's out. I think players thought there was going to be a 
Whistle, Petro Clark has picked it up and is running to the end zone. And Louisville may very well have iced this thing. Recovered by the defense and returned for a touchdown. There's Abdullah, but look at Dave Hoyt. Previous play is under further review. He never gets out of a stance. The right side of the offensive line never gets out of their stance for Pitt. And because of that, Slovis gets rocked. The slow developing play. Hartman in trouble again, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Cardinals are fired up. Abdullah comes in from the linebacker spot. He is a tremendous player who plays that outside linebacker. I've got to help my man out right here. They keep it on the ground on first down and not a whole lot of running room for Justice Ellison because Yasir Abdullah is in there to say welcome to Louisville and he makes the play. <laughs> Hartman on second and long has it stripped. That's a loose football. And the cards come away with it. Abdullah gets the strip and Louisville is in business again. As you see, just an amazing release by Abdullah. He's going out on that left tackle. We told you, keep an eye on it. This is a backup. Nash is out. That's one of the best pass rushers in the entire country. And Spencer Clapp not able to get on top of him. Strip sack. All the momentum in the world with the Cardinals right now. Third down and a full five here for the Tigers. Louisville bringing pressure. Backs up, throws a strike. That's Williams. And he fumbled the ball. Louisville's got it. Cards are going to pick it up on the bounce. That's Jones making another play for Louisville. As you know, the catch, no catch, is one of the points of emphasis this year. But it looks to me like he he did put the ball away and made a football move trying to cut back inside. So I, I think he's got possession here and starts back with the move. One turnover leads to another. Yeah. So as you hear Jeff Heiser tell the crowd here at Clemson. Neither team has done that on their first drive. Oh, bad snap. And that's another storyline for the Wolfpack today. Grant Gibson is also out, so Dylan McMahon takes over in the center spot. Uh, the first guy there looked like it was Yasir Abdullah combining with Ashton Jalati. And that is a sight that no quarterback wants to see. You mentioned the bad snap kind of throws the timing off. I don't care. Apologies to everyone out there. On third down, Finley under pressure, down he goes. Yasir Abdullah does it again. And then Yasir Abdullah one-on-one -on -one against the tackle around the edge against Timothy McKay almost causes a fumble as well. But the speed of Yasir Abdullah has given tackles in the ACC trouble all year long. Able to catch it knife upfield. And a quick restart and a quick stop. Just bend their ears back, really plays into their hands. The bobble by Finley with the get off.